Hello, hope you are doing good. I am your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to add a contact form to your Canva website. I will be giving you two different answers, a short straight to the point answer and then a longer version. So for example, you can go onto Canva, tap on create a design in the top right hand corner, then select website. Once on the website dashboard, as you can see right here, all you would need to do to add a contact form is tap on text from the left hand menu option. Then you're going to tap on add a heading. After you have selected add a heading, you just want to carry it to the top middle section of the page. Then from there, you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to type in jotform.com. And from there, you can sign up using your email address. It is completely free. And I have tried this tutorial with Google Forms and it doesn't work the same with Canva. So you're going to go onto jotform.com. Then from there, you're going to select templates from the top menu option. So you can tap on templates right here. Then you're going to select form templates. After selecting form templates, you'll simply tap on the search bar and you're going to type in contact, then select enter. After you have done that, you will see numerous contact forms template that you can choose from. So all you'll need to do is scroll down till you have found one of your liking. So let's say for example, this one, all you'll need to do now is tap on use template below it. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. And then from here, you can edit it, which I will show you in the longer form of the tutorial. But for now, you could simply tap on publish. Then this link that you will see right here, you will simply tap on copy link. After you have copied it, you'll go back into Canva. And right where you add, add a heading, you'll simply double tap on it until the entire text is selected. Then you'll tap on the link icon. You're going to paste the link right there. After you have pasted the link, I want you to tap above the box. Then from there, you're going to see link display. And you're going to tap on link. And you're going to tap on embed. After selecting embed, you'll realize that your contact form has now been embedded onto your Canva website. And you can pull it into position as you can see right there. And I know that at the moment it looks a bit untidy probably, but if we were to tap on preview, you will realize that it does fit on a single page and it does look good as you can see right there. So that is the short version. Now, if you would like to see the longer version, for example, how to edit the contact form and so on to your liking, all you'll need to do is you will go onto jot form. So let me go back real quick and again you'll go on to jot form and from there you're going to tap on templates again so let's do that and you're going to tap on form templates after selecting form templates once more you're going to type in contact after typing in contact we are going to be selecting the same form that we had selected earlier so i'll tap on use template after tapping on use template, you're going to be redirected to a new page. On JotForm, you have numerous editing options. So for example, if you would like to add or remove one of these elements, you can do that. To add more elements, you'll tap on the plus in the top left hand corner. And from here, you'll see the option that you can add heading, full name, email. You can add any one of these elements as you can see right here. So if you would require them to add their signature or so on, you can do that as you can see right there. If you want to add short text or any one of these options and image or so on to the page, you can do that. You can also input a table if you want or star ratings. With that form, you can also add payments as you can see right there. So you can also add PayPal or any one of these payment options as you can see here. All you'll need to do, for example, let's say I wanted to add PayPal, you'll simply drag and add it to the page. After you have done that, you will see the option to enter your PayPal account information. Then you can select the currency. And then from here, you can select the payment type. 
whether you're selling a product subscription or so on you can select that then you'll tap on continue after you have added that information now once you have done that all you'll need to do now is tap on settings right here after selecting settings you can add your form title then you can also scroll down and you want to ensure that you have enabled the form status then you are going to tap on publish after tapping on publish from here you can copy the link and also with jot form if we should go back and tap on settings you can also edit the thank you page by tapping on thank you so you can decide whether you'd like to show a thank you page after the person has signed up or you'd like to redirect them to an external link you can also tap on conditions from the left hand menu option and from here you can see some conditions that can be applied as you can see here and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe